Today we begin exploring our Arduino, making an LED turned on and off. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quick Tech Tutorials. Today we're going to explore Arduino and get started with some basic programming making an LED turn on and off. So the first thing we're going to work on is writing the code for it. And then we're going to explore building the circuit. So right here I have the Arduino uh, program opened up. And the first couple things we see are void setup and void loop. Now these are required with Arduino. Uh, pretty much setup as it says in the directions under here. Put your setup code here. It runs once. So this is where we're going to determine where our, what our LEDs are going to be doing. And then in void loop, this is the... Uh, instructions that will just repeat over and over so if we want an LED to turn on and off or just stay on or just turn on and off once whatever it may be this is where we'll put that code here um, before I even enter in void setup the first thing I want to do is I want to name my LED and I also want to write what pin it's going to be connected to on our Arduino board so First thing we're going to write is INT, which stands for integer, and this is used for storing data. So I'm going to write INT. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, red LED. I'm going to make it all just one word. I'm going to write the equal sign, and I'm going to write 11. Now, 11 represents the pin number on my Arduino. Now, the reason I wrote this here and didn't just write start writing the code with pin 11 is if I name it, all throughout here and I decide I want to move my pin later on I just have to change the number up here I don't have to change the number in the all throughout the code all right so int red LED equals 11 now one of the most important things with programming you need to do is you need to make sure you type a semicolon after your line right that shows that you're ending uh, that line of code there if you don't do it it's gonna come up as an error so I have red LED and pin 11 now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my uh, void setup, right? I can keep these directions here, right? If we have the two forward slashes here, it tells the program to ignore it. This is just text. Um, and the first thing I'm going to write is pin mode. So I'm going to type in pin mode with a capital M in mode. All right. And I'm going to open my parentheses here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell the red LED what its function is going to be. So I'm going to type in red LED, right? Again, we gave that name to our pin 11, uh, comma, and I'm going to write all capital letters output. And you notice that output just turned blue, which is good, all right? Close parentheses, semicolon. So this is saying that this is an output. If we were to have a switch or a button hooked up to this, we would write it as input. But for right now, we have pin mode. Red LED is going to be an output. Um, and that's that simple, right? So now it's saying that pin 11 is going to be an output. All right, if I had more stuff and as we go through more tutorials, this would become a little more uh, complicated and be filled up a little bit more. But again, we're just getting started. I want one red LED just to turn on and off. Um, so now I'm gonna go down to my void loop. Um, so in this case, we're just concerned with an LED turning on and off. Um, we're not gonna get too crazy here. What we're gonna be concerned with is a command called digital write. Um, and this pretty much just focuses on high and low functions. So what I mean by high and low is just an LED turning on, it's in its high state, an LED turning off, it's in its low state. Uh, we'll get into analog write when we look at our RGB LED. Uh, but again, for right now, we just wanna focus on making it turn on and off. So first thing I'm gonna write is digital write. Right, and make sure that there's a capital W in right, and you notice that it just turned red. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in red LED, the name of our pin 11, all right, comma, and I'm gonna write high in all capital letters, and it turned blue. Close the parentheses, semicolon. All right, so right now, my LED is on. Uh, if I want it to stay on for, let's say we wanna make it stay on for one second. I'm going to go underneath, I'm going to type delay, right? Now, with programming, everything is in milliseconds. So I'm going to type delay, and in parentheses, I'm going to write a thousand, right? And that thousand represents one second, all right? A thousand milliseconds equals one second. So what this line of code is saying right now is my LED is going to turn on for one second. Now, if I want to turn the LED off, I'm going to write digital right again, 
all right red LED comma and now I'm gonna put low right we just said that high means the LED is on and the low state means the LED is off all right now I just realized I'm looking back after my delay I didn't put a semicolon so I'm gonna make sure that that's in there sometimes a simple mistake like that uh, and your program won't work so after this right I want the LED to stay off for one second so once again I'm gonna write delay parentheses 1000 semicolon and that's it right now obviously you could play around and make it uh, if we wanted to have the LED blink faster we would uh, shorten this time so instead of it turning on for a second and off for a second we could make this 500 which would be half a second 500 milliseconds we could play around with those numbers as much as we want uh, one other thing to point out all of your programming has to go within uh, what they call braces all right so you'll notice that in my void setup I have an open bracket or brace here I have my code and then there's a closed bracket or brace here and the same thing in my void loop so you want to make sure that everything is in there as well all right, so I'm gonna double check my code. I have, I named pin 11 red LED. I stated that my red LED is going to be an output. And in my loop, I have my red LED is gonna be high or on for one second. And then I have my LED is gonna be low or off for one second. And because it's in a loop, it's gonna repeat this. So once my LED goes off for one second, it's now going to loop back, go on for a second, go off for a second, and keep going and going, all right? This is our basic code. So now we're gonna go take a look at the breadboard and we're going to wire up this circuit. All right, so we have our Arduino plugged into the computer right now. We're gonna download that program once we finish building our circuit. What I have in front is a breadboard and this is where we can build circuits without having to solder all of the components together. So really quick, just to kind of look at what we have here. If you've never seen a breadboard, um, let's bring it up to the camera for a minute. All right, oops, there we go. So up in the top, the first two rows, you see that there's a red positive line and then a blue negative line uh, or ground, right? That's where we could plug in our power. So if we had a power supply or we had a battery, we could plug, plug it in right to there uh, and then connect our components to those rows. So that would give us our power and our ground. Um, our Arduino board actually acts as a power supply as well. So I'm gonna plug in uh, a cable right from our Arduino right to our breadboard. Now, while the top two rows are connected horizontally, all of these columns here are connected vertically. So for example, we see row 40 here, and these five dots below row 40 are all connected. All right, they're not connected, right? The vertical columns are not connected to each other. So we could plug in, let's say, the anode on an LED in row 40, and the cathode can go in the row right next to it, and they won't be connected to each other, all right? Um, so this is a basic breadboard, and you'll see as I build the circuit how it gets wired together. Now, with an LED, it's important to have a resistor connected in series. All right, if we just run power right to an LED, we're going to uh, overload it, and it's going to burn out, which we don't want to have. So first thing I'm going to do right now is I am going to connect a cable from the power of my uh, Arduino board to the breadboard. All right, so I'm gonna be using a red jumper wire here. Now in our program, we said that we are using pin 11 as an output. So I'm gonna bring my board up to the camera for a minute. All right, and you'll notice that it actually tells you where the pins are. So if we get really close here, you'll see, right, there's an 11. Oops, make this a little clearer here. There we go. You'll notice that pin 11 right, is, is labeled, which is nice, so we know where pin 11 is. All right, if I flip it around too, you also have it on the sides as well, so you know where the pins are. So we said pin 11 was my output. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in part of, or the first end of my jumper wire into pin 11. So let's see if we can get nice and close here. All right, pin 11, and I'm just plugging my jumper wire right in. All right, again, we, we stated that pin 11 is going to be uh, an output, so plug it into pin 11, and I'm gonna plug the other end of the jumper wire uh, right into, uh, let's say, column 40, what we said before. So what this means now, I'm gonna zoom in for a second, is that the next four dots underneath where I plugged in my jumper wire, these all will have power. Nothing else though, even the ones below, there's a break in the breadboard, so these dots down here won't be connected. 
Um, we just said that when we uh, wire up a, res a resistor, we have to, I mean, our LED, we have to have a resistor in series. So I'm using uh, a thousand ohm resistor, and the way we identify them is by the colored bands on them. Now, all right, now we just said that we, when we wire up an LED, uh, we need to wire a resistor in series with it so we don't burn it out. So what I have here is a simple thousand ohm uh, a resistor, and we'll talk about how we identify uh, resistors. Uh, really simple terms, there's colored bands on the resistor itself. Uh, we'll post another tutorial on how you identify different resistors because they have uh, different types of resistors as well and different uh, levels or different numbers of colored bands. So we'll go through all of that. But I have a thousand ohm resistor in here and I'm going to plug one end right into one of the points right in line with my jumper cable and I'm going to plug the other end of the resistor uh, anywhere else. We're going to plug it let's say right here. All right. So it's in one of the other rows. Now, before we plug in our LED, there's a little trick we need to know, or a little tip, I should say. So I have my red LED here. All right, there we go. And on the red LED, you'll notice that the leads sticking out of it are not even. There we go. Right, one of them is longer than the other. The longer one is what we call an anode, which means positive. The shorter one is a cathode, which would go to our ground. All right, so it's very important. An LED stands for light emitting diode, and a diode only allows a flow of electrons in one direction. So if we plug this in backwards, our circuit's not going to work. So I'm gonna make sure the anode is connected to our resistor. So I'm gonna plug it in really quick. All right, just like that. And then I have one more jumper cable that I'm gonna run from the cathode of my LED back to the ground of my Arduino board. Right, and ground is labeled G and D on these boards as well. So right now, just looking at everything, I have pin 11 as my output, right, connected through a jumper cable onto my breadboard. Uh, from the breadboard and that jumper cable, I have power going through my resistor, connected to the anode of my LED, and then the cathode is connected back to the ground on my uh, Arduino board. So that completes a circuit. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to uh, download our program that we created before to the Arduino board and if we did it right um, our LED should start blinking on and off. Alright so we have our code all created. First thing I'm going to do before I download is I'm going to hit this little check button up in the top left which is verify. So I'm going to hit check. Oops. And what it's doing is it's compiling the sketch right now. There's a little status bar here. And if everything is good, uh, it'll tell us. If there's any errors along the way, um, it'll usually highlight an orange. So right now it says done, no errors came up, which means we're good. So I'm now going to uh, hit upload, and this is gonna bring it right to our Arduino board. All right, um, we don't wanna save it right now. Let's just hit download. Right, compiling sketch, and it's being loaded right now. And we can see that on our breadboard, we have the LED blinking on and off. So everything's wired correctly, our program is done correctly. Um, and this is just a really simple way to get an LED to turn on and off. Now, you can program multiple pins to turn multiple LEDs on and off. We could control and make this light up faster and slower, and you could be as creative as you want with it. Uh, but this again is a really simple way of just getting started with the Arduino. Uh, basic programming and getting an LED to turn on and off.